Even though we're accustomed to thinking that if a person doesn't have Vera, they could just do tshuva, unfortunately it's not so easy. The Gemara tells us in Masech de Yuma, there are certain Averos that tshuva doesn't necessarily work for alone. Even Yom Kippur doesn't necessarily cleanse a person from all Averos. There are certain Averos where you need more than that. The Gemara says certain Averos require Yisurim, and some Averos even require Misa, for example, Chil Hashem. And this is a very frightening teaching of the Gemara. But there's good news. There's great hope for us. The Rebbe Hashem provides us with a great gift because while Misa Chas V'Shalom may be required for full teshuva, for full repentance to be cleansed, there is an easy way to fulfill that. The Gemara tells us in the Dharam, Suma Chashiv Kames, a blind person is considered as if they're dead. Well, says Rebbe Lezer Pua, student of Ramami Pana, one of the early Mikobala, if a blind person is considered as if they're dead, then imagine someone who could see and chooses to close their eyes. Certainly they're considered as if they're a mess. And therefore, if someone faces and encounters an immodest image, an uh, indecent sight, and they say, right now I'm going to close my eyes to it, and I'm going to render myself a summa, a mess. At that moment, a person could say, Rebun Shalom, I would like to do tshuva for my sins, and I'm combining it with the fact that I'm closing my eyes, at that moment, all your sins are forgiven. But the person's walking down the street, he's healthy, he's happy, he has a family, he's making a parnasa. Yeah, but he closed his eyes, and he made himself a suma, and a suma is chash of kames, and a tshuva, and a hisgabrus hayetzer, closing your eyes, in one moment, yesh koina oilamai b'sha, Achas, all your sins are forgiven. Don't look at it as a challenge, look at it as an opportunity.